Noisy Pixel. What's up, nerds, and welcome to another Noisy News Week for the week of May 9th, 2020. Here's where I fill you in on some notable news posted to NoisyPixel.net this past week. We got a lot of news to kind of fill you in on, lots of trailers today, so stick around until the end. First off, we have City Connection with a strange announcement that they are localizing and releasing, I suppose. Hoshi Yo Mito Hito on Nintendo Switch. This is a game originally released on the Famicom in 1987. It is a very difficult RPG with cyberpunk kind of themes. I don't know much about it, but I know it's hard and I know that not a lot of people think that it's very good. So whatever. Platinum Games announced that the Wonderful 101 Remastered will be delayed physically in the West. It will release on PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch on June 30th in North America and July 3rd in Europe. This is only the physical edition. Digital edition will still release on May 19th in North America and May 22nd in Europe. The Japan release will still be June 11th for all editions. Bushido Road announced that the Pokélab developed iOS and Android RPG Simpho Gear XT Unlimited is being discontinued next month after only being on the mobile store in the West for about five months. No, like three, three months. Wow. February, March, April, May. Oh, I was right. Five months. Look at me. I don't want to brag or anything. Yeah, that sucks. If you've put money in this game, I'm so sorry. Like, that's terrible. I don't know what's going on with the release or why it did bad, but hey, we move on. Incidentally, uh, Pokilabo is the developer on that new Nier RPG mobile game, although the localization was done by Bushido Road and not by them. They're just the developer. Coffee Stain Publishing announced that the Easy Trigger Games developed 2D side-scroller Hunt Down will launch on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC via the Epic Game Store on May 12th. This is a over-the-top kind of funny action game with multiplayer aspects to it. I urge you to check it out if this is the type of game that sounds up your alley. There is a trailer too. It's probably playing right here. Moving on, Indian Games announced they will publish Umihara Kawase Bazooka on PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch in the West in July 2020. And I'm an Umihara fan, okay? I love these games. I love the character. I just think it needs a reboot. I think they need to stop using these really bad assets, these terrible 3D assets that they've been using in the past few games. It just looks really bad. No one new is going to pick up this game because of how ugly it is. For long time fans were used to it, I suppose, but they could adapt like a nice pixel style for this game, but yet they do this really bad and weirdly textured 3D game. I don't know. I don't know about this game. I'll probably play it, but I don't have high hopes. Let me know what you think. Top Hat Studios launched a new trailer for the Shady Gentleman developed action Metroidvania Steam Dolls Order of Chaos. The game is now in development for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. This is a really cool looking game. I can't really explain it, but be sure to watch the trailer and let me know what you think about it. Top Hat Studios definitely has a mixed bag of what they publish, but this is definitely one of the standout titles in their portfolio right now. Circle Entertainment announced that the one-man developed action adventure Arrest of Stone Buddha will launch on Nintendo Switch on May 21st. The game is available now on PC, but I know a lot of people pick up Yeo's games on Switch. NIS America released a new trailer for Void Terrarium, coming to PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch on July 14th. This trailer shows a little more of the gameplay and a little more of the item collecting to keep the little girl's biome safe and help her survive. You go through dungeons and fight monsters. Yeah. Big Blue Bubble announced that their action platformer Foregone will launch on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch on October 5th. It's a ways away, but the game is currently available now on PC Early Access via the Epic Game Store. This game borrows a lot of what you would expect more indie Metroidvanias to look like. It has that same appeal as some of the more popular titles out there, but they're trying new things. And with this early access, 
they probably get a lot of feedback on their creation. Ben and Emko announced that Ultra Instinct Goku is coming to Dragon Ball Fighters on May 22nd. If you're playing the game still, this is perfect. More content. I think he's a part of Season Pass 3 or something. I, I'm not sure what season they're on. I have not been keeping up. Cool though. Ultra Instinct is cool. <laughs> P-Cubed announced they will publish the puzzle platformer Evergate on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC later in 2020. This is a cute little puzzle platformer with this little guy, and he flies around and he shoots this laser and it explodes him. You use physics to kind of get you across the level. I don't know, check it out. NetherRealms announced that Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath will be a $39.99 DLC purchase, and it's available on May 26th. It adds new story content and new characters. 40 bucks to play more Mortal Kombat 11. I don't know if it's worth it. Let me know. All In Games announced that the cyber parkour action game Ghost Runner has a PC demo available now. So if you want to play it, go check it out. It's like 15 minutes long and you can probably get through it. There is also a preview of it on the site by the time this posts. Universe announced that the Little Witch Academia VR broom racing game will be delayed from its planned June 2020 release date to a new release date of late 2020 on Oculus Quest and an early 2021 release on all the other VR platforms, including PlayStation VR. Sucks, but hey, maybe it'll make the game better because of the delay. I like to look at the bright side of Little Witch Academia. Idea Factory International released new character information for Death and Request 2. That's on the site now. Be sure to check it out. But I will tell you that the main reason I wrote about this is for the new illustration for the main protagonist, Sheena, from the first one. Mark, why don't you zoom in on why? Continuing the sexy news, SNK released a new character trailer for Iroha in Samurai Showdown. She will be available on May 13th. There's a trailer and goddamn, it's spicy. Microsoft hosted an Xbox Insider event where Playism showed new gameplay of Bright Memory Infinite coming to Xbox Series X and Xbox One. It'll also come to PlayStation 4 and PC. All of these next games are just trailers. Paradox Interactive released a new trailer for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 now coming to Xbox Series X as well. Sega announced that Yakuza Like a Dragon will release on Xbox Series X as a launch title for the system, which is cool. And there's a new trailer. Bloomer Team revealed the medium in a new trailer, and that is also coming to Xbox Series X and PC. Bandai Namco revealed a new action adventure game called Scarlet Nexus that's in development for Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, and all the other systems. I do not believe it's coming to Nintendo Switch as of right now. The game has a cute trailer that's watchable now, where Yumato Samarugi announces that he has the power of psychokinesis. Be sure to watch it. Also, Mark, just play that clip. I'm Yuito Sumeragi. My power is psychokinesis. Deep Silver announced that they will be publishing the Fish Labs developed game Chorus, which is a space shooter, but with a narrative, and there's this girl, and there's this ship, and it's a sentient ship, and it's a crying girl. I don't know. The beginning of the trailer made it look like Death Stranding meets Control. It's a space shooter, so it's nothing like either of those. Ubisoft released a cinematic trailer for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It is not a gameplay trailer. I don't care how many times they say it. I don't believe it. I didn't see no gameplay. But I've been lied to before. Let them play their little games, all right? I'm over here trying to take things seriously. When you say gameplay, Ubisoft, I want gameplay. Raw Fury revealed Call of the Sea, which is a adventure puzzler game coming to Xbox Series X. It looks interesting. It looks cool. Also, Scorn was revealed during the event. And yeah, I don't know much about this game, but it seems like a lot of people do. It is coming to Xbox Series X and PC, I believe. It looks scary. That's all I can really tell you about it, sorry. On to visual novel news, what everyone is here for. Shira Vien announced that the Hobie Box developed detective visual novel Master Magistrate will launch on PC via Steam on June 12th, and there will be a free 18 plus patch for all you perverts out there. Aniplex launched a demo for Atri, My Dear Moments. They also released a demo for Autobana Odd Tales. And there's two previews on the site right now, so go ahead and watch them. 
but if you want, you can also play the games on Steam, and they're like two to three hours long, so it's a pretty substantial amount of content that you get in these demos, and it allows you to kind of see the characters and get a feel for them. They are both very good games. Just USA released You and Me and Her, a love story on PC. It is also coming to Steam on May 25th. The game is available now on the Just USA web store. Axis Games announced that the Atome visual novel Color X Malice will launch on Nintendo Switch on June 25th in the West. That's all your visual novel news. Let's go on to previews. We have Population Zero, Early Access, Autry, My Dear Moments, Valorant, and Autobana Odd Tales. Reviews on the site. We have Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Road to Boruto on Nintendo Switch. We have Cloudpunk Code Realize Future Blessings on Switch. Yukiko Melt Ministry of Broadcast on Switch. Someday You'll Return. John Wick Hex on PS4. Void Bastards on Switch. And Overlord Mass for the Dead. And that's the show, as it were. Thank you for watching. Thank you for reading the site. Thank you for being you. I'm going to go now. Have a great weekend and see you in the comments.